Hello, thanks for stopping by today. It's Stampin' Georgia, and I have a Valentine idea to share with you today. Have you ever thought you had a stamp set and then you went to go use it and it was one you thought about so long and just assumed that you had purchased it and then when you went to look at your shelves it was nowhere to be found? Well, that just happened to me this week. I had gotten this card in a swap. This one was made by Susan Campfield and I was going to copy that idea because I had some leftover Christmas paper. This is from the paper stack that's in the art paper designer series paper that's in the annual catalog called This Christmas. Comes, you get 24 sheets instead of 12. And I had a lot of it left over, so that, that's an ideal thing. But I went to go get this stamp set. This is one that's in the New Occasions catalog off my shelf and came to realize here are all the pieces to it. It's a wonderful stamp set, but I remembered then talking myself out of it because I already owned one and thought that I could use the one that I owned for Valentine's this year, and that was the Bloom and Love set. So I set out then to take Susan's idea and use my Bloom and Love stamp set with it. And I also didn't use the framelits because this is actually comes as a bundle. So this heart cut out, both of these, this one's it's really a cute one, but I don't have it and I wanted to make it. So I'm going to show you my version. Her version was wonderful, wonderful enough for me to want to copy. So I started with my five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock folded, very vanilla. And then for my card front, I've got a piece that is three and three quarter by five inches. And I needed to make a template because my heart punch will only reach in so far. So my template, I reached in and did, made my template by punching in as far as it would go from the corner there. And I made a mark with a pencil just so that I could see where that punch is going to end up. So I want to stamp my image so it is below the little V mark that I made at the bottom base of my heart. And so that way I won't end up cutting my words out when I reach my punch in as far as it will go. So there I have that stamped out. And then the little piece that I'm going to put behind it is from the paper pack the, this Christmas and it's always best to put your adhesive on the back of a piece that's not going to show rather than guess where it will show up on my red I'm going to go ahead and put it on the very vanilla on the back and then set my paper down over it so now I've covered up and you can really that's a technique you can do with any of your punch outs and put a piece of printed paper behind it so I'm, I'm going to take my other paper piecing pieces and you can see my Christmas print on the back. And again, always easiest to put your adhesive on the bigger piece and then set it down on the smaller piece. And then we can add that to the front of my card. And then I just used this flourish that comes in the Blue and Love stamp set and stamp that above my heart and punch out. And then I cut a piece of cherry cobbler that is just an eighth of an inch longer and wider than my very vanilla piece, so it is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Get out of here, I can see better what I'm doing. And just center that. So I just wanted a little bit of the cherry cobbler border to show up around that. And dimensionals. And when I finished with this card, my intention was for it to be a Valentine. You could stamp Happy Valentine's Day. There's a nice little Happy Valentine's Day in the um, Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. 
However, I decided if I leave it blank, you know, a heart, love is in the air, could be used as a, um, a wedding card. It could be used as a shower, wedding shower card. It could be used as an anniversary card. And so I like to leave it kind of generic so that I can use it for whatever occasion I need it for as time comes up. So there you have it. There's the two different um, Valentines, similar techniques, and neither is right or wrong. It's just fun to see how you can take one idea and use what you have to make a new one. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you're giving your Valentines a try.